My name is Misha Bakshi. I'm a student, actress, and cosplayer living in Halifax, Nova Scotia. When I first started cosplay, it was just about dressing up and having fun. But my journey into cosplay changed me. It helped me find out more about myself than I ever imagined. I knew I couldn't be the only one. So now I'm headed out, asking other cosplayers what drives them to create and how cosplay has made an impact on them. When people ask me why I cosplay, I tell them it's because I can. Today, I'm on my way to talk with Jeff Gold of Gold Photography, who's doing a photo shoot. My plan is to learn about his passion for cosplay photography during a shoot with local cosplayer Jessica Zombie. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got started in photography, I guess, first. When I got started in photography, um, I was taking a photography class in high school. That was when I was growing up in Ontario. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, I've been attending local conventions through my interest in anime. Your journey's kind of been like you started doing like photography as like a hobby and you went to conventions and like they just kind of naturally converged. Absolutely. Like back in, um, I started going to conventions back in 2004. Mm -hmm. um, and back then, just everyone was taking photos, like everyone had their their brand new digital camera from their family. Um, and it was really common to just go around and take as many photos as you could of people. I was able to turn that into something uh, that I really cared about, that, that, that I, people said I was good at, and I was able to turn into a real hobby of mine. How is that different from like, other styles of photography in your words? When I'm doing cosplay photography, I'm not trying to make the scene look like it's from an anime. I love cosplay, I love the people who are cosplaying at conventions, the work they put into it. So in my mind, I'm not trying to trick anybody. I'm just trying to document what's happening there. Some months ago, I had the opportunity to watch Jeff and Jess work together during a winter shoot. The scenery was stunning with perfectly timed snowfall. Okay, but like over here with your eyes. Okay. And what, are, what is great etiquette that a cosplayer can have at a photo shoot so that you can do your best work? I definitely appreciate uh, patience from a, co a cosplayer. If you want really good photos, standing as still as you possibly can is definitely because we are working in a still medium. Because at the end of the day, I want my cosplayer to appreciate the photos that we're making together, right? It's not about what I want, it's about what we want together. Okay, hold those eyes nice and still. After the shoot, Jeff sent us some footage of him as he worked on Jess's photos. I would say definitely having a lot of direction is really helpful because I can have the best pose ideas or whatever ever, but if I'm not having good direction, I could be doing something weird and not realize. So having all that feedback from the photographer is really important. And that's one thing I like about working with Jeff is he's really, like, I don't know if I can say that, like really anal about like, <laughs> so you know what I mean? Like Jeff's like really anal, really like, you can tell that he's like meticulous and cares and he notices. And that feedback's really helpful because I can do a better job at posing when I know how I'm kind of looking. You give like such meticulous direction, like you were directing Jessica's like eyeline, like how she should hold her fingers, the angle of her elbow. Like over the years, like how have you picked up the skills to like give those directions in a way that is like very smooth? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I've, I've always wanted to have a lot of control of my subjects, you know, it, it, that's, a, that's a weird way to put it. Uh, but when I'm working with Jess, when I'm working with other people, um, I try to give really strong direction. And the important part of that is that you reinforce that, right? So if they, if I say to move their chin left and they don't move it left, right? I need to follow up with that, right? I can't, it can't just be random things I'm shouting at them. It's, it needs to be things that happen. Do you find that you're ever nervous working with a photographer? I would say I am when it's somebody that's that I haven't worked with before. Mm -hmm. Like Jeff, like I know him and I feel really comfortable and the other people I work with often, it's the same thing. Like I feel comfortable, like if I do something that's goofy or whatever, like I don't care. But if it's somebody um, that's new, it's like, I feel very nervous because I'm like, I don't know, like kind of like how they work and how I work. Like I know how Jeff works and stuff. So we kind of like vibe, but other people, it's like figuring out that rhythm, which mm -hmm. is kind of nerve wracking until you have it figured yeah. out. I would say, 
over the years, like really just trial and error is the biggest thing. Like just practice, practice, practice. So like do shoots and you'll see some pictures that you'll get back and say, oh, that pose looked cute or oh, that looked really awful. And I would say just experience of these different motions and your body almost kind of remembers like, oh, this looked nice or this looked kind of dumb. Do you have any other advice for cosplayers who might be looking to get more professional photography done or who are looking to do more photo shoots? Yeah, for sure. I say the biggest thing is definitely just to be yourself, be comfortable and feel comfortable reaching out to other photographers. Especially here, like in Halifax area, like everyone's so nice. I'm sure communities like that everywhere. They're so nice, so open. Everyone's really passionate about what they do. So if you just reach out, like the worst thing somebody can say is no, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, thank you both so much for your time today. This has been such a treat to have you on. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. So Jeff and Jess, why do you cosplay? Because, because we, we can. can. <laughs> I've been cosplaying for a while, and it still blows my mind the attention to detail that goes into photography work like Jeff's. There's so much communication and creativity in every single photo you might see on social media. Photographers like Jeff are what make cosplays last beyond the con floor, with pictures and videos that highlight all of the work that cosplayers put in. Thank you.